If you're like me, you might have a number of apps on the ClassLink launchpad that you don't use. It's really easy to tidy up and create folders and put those apps into folders. Let's take a look at that. If you move up to the menu bar at the top and click the icon that says Edit Mode, you'll get some options. On the Create tab, one of the options is New Folder. Another way that you can create a new folder is to simply right-click anywhere on that launch pad and select New Folder. The first thing that you'll need to do is name that folder. I'm going to call mine Unused Apps. And then you'll get the opportunity to choose a color for that folder too. If you click the little thumbnail, and you can choose any color there on the side. When you find a color that you like, click Save. And that folder will usually pop up to the first position. Now, in order to move things into that folder, you have to click the Edit Mode button again so that you can move things around. So I'm going to take this book flicks and just click and hold and drag and drop it right over the top of my folder. And now you can see that I have that one app inside that folder. Let's do another one. We'll take this one and pop it right into there. And one more. Let's take Epic and pop it right into there. Now, if any time you find that you've put something into that folder and you want to remove it, again, in this edit mode, simply click on the folder, hover over the top of the app, and you'll see up in the corner that there's a little arrow that looks like it would take it out of the folder. It says move to root. When I click on that, it moves it back up out of that folder, and it's now back out on the dashboard. The other thing that you can do is if you want to get rid of the entire folder, again in edit mode, if I hover over the top of that folder, I see a little X up in the corner and I can just click and the apps have gone back to the launch pad and the folder has disappeared. Additional resources on this topic and others are available from a database on the Educational Technology website. You can search by application title, text, or format, such as video, handout, or presentation. A direct link to this resource table is bit.ly forward slash eps dash resources. Please note that the URL is case sensitive. Maybe you're looking for something a little more than a handout or video. If so, also available from our EdTech website is a form for professional learning requests. The training could be for yourself, your PLC, or your building. To access the form, go to bit.ly forward slash EPS training. Again, please note that the URL is case sensitive.